Good morning! Hi! <laughs> Guest Mom! <laughs> I don't know if she wanted her name on there or what. That's fine. It is at K-pop jacket lady. But she's doing dishes right now. Ooh, and I'm gonna sit to make myself taller. Yay! So, I did this before, I made puppets. And then yesterday we had our 100 follower stream where we were playing with Legos for seven and a half hours. And so I'm a little brain dead and I didn't want to do something like new that I didn't know how to do. So we're doing puppets because I like making them. I only have a handful of animals and I feel like I should have more animals. And I bought new paper, which is really pretty and in colors I didn't have before. So now we've got various options. We've like pinks and purples and more blues because before I was using like two color packets and just hoping for the best. But I have these guys which are my actual puppets on a stick. These guys too. Oh look it's a wolf giant. And then I the other day made some little postcards which is a similar shape to these guys but paper cut out postcards. You can see the little arms are still up. And each one of them is different. All hand drawn, all that nonsense. We got the girls too. Oops. And so I think I'm gonna work on making some puppets and some postcards because I still have the white paper from the postcards because I got over ambitious and miscalculated how much time it was actually gonna take me to make these guys. So, that is where it stands right now. I don't know what animal to start with though. So I'm gonna grab my paper. Oh, my big old stack of paper. You can see, before I had the sugar candy card stock and the summer rain cardstock. And to that, I've added cool waters, <laughs> feathered greens, and pinks and corals. This is a disappointing name compared to all the others. <laughs> so, what do we feel like? What animal are we missing? We have a dragon, a wolf, a raccoon, a unicorn, and a fox, and then some rabbit people. Inspired by the Mad Hatter. But little little creepy rabbits. Um I really want to do something with these purples. Because it's dark purple, lavender, light blue, teal, and gray. It's a nice collection. And it takes all the guesswork out of it for me because it just hands me a packet of complementary colors, which is lovely and wonderful. And then wants, oops, once I finish some puppets, we're gonna pop them outside for the little free library, which currently has some stuffed, okay, this, wow, that was about to sound so creepy. I'll say, right now has some stuffed horse heads but it actually does. They're, they're fabric horse heads like you would have a, like a horse on a stick. These are ones just tie around your waist so you don't have to have the stick. And they're really adorable and cute, but no one has taken them because I don't think anyone knows what to do with them. They're just looking at them like they're weird. So we'll see what happens with the puppets. <laughs> because the, the current selection of things in the library is a bit odd and it's about to get weirder. Okay. Man, look at those colors. Ooh. Some pretty colors. Okay. Got those guys. I'm gonna open this one properly too because last time I just like ripped at it and now it's pain in the ass to get things in and out. I'm just looking at my dog. She's being super adorable. She's snuggling her blanket. Here she has a rolled blanket that acts as a fourth leg since she's missing one. Okay. 
anyone has any ideas, if you're lurking on Twitch or Watch Me Work, both of which are live right now, please give me your ideas on what animals to create. Should I bring a horse head in? If you want to bring a horse head in. It's the creepiest statement I've said today. There's some stuffed horse heads. Ho oh, ho. As I'm wielding scissors like a knife. All right, let's see these greens. Look at that. Look at that. Wee! Nice greens. <coughs> Look at the horse head. Good morning, everyone. Oof. This uh, is one of the stuffed horse heads. But instead of having a stick, you have ties that tie around your waist, um, which means that um, whoever's using one, because this one's more adult sized, isn't it? Uh, this is rather a large horse head. Some of the others are smaller. rather big ties. Yeah, well, because it was, I think, <laughs> you basically tie it around your waist so that there isn't a stick for the kids to trip over, because you know how many kids with hobby horses would run and if not that. trip themselves they would trip other people because they've got the stick but so this one as you move it your horse goes up and down and yes so that's what those were your stuffed horse heads stuffed horse heads all right so what animals are i making today um i am not very clever so i was thinking would it work if you if I had a circle and then cut it in the spiral so it was a snake, but it would, because you cut it in a spiral, it would go for it. come down. Go for it. That doesn't sound like that would work, or that sounds like maybe it would work. Maybe. All of these I just tried, and then whatever yes. I didn't like, I just cut. But you're incredibly more creative than I am, so I'm more practical, like sewing. Or why are we thinking? So what color snake, I guess, is my next thing. You've got every green for a snake. I have all of you the have greens. Every green I'm really excited about all of these greens. We'll go with a brightly colored green snake. A very bright grass snake. I don't know. And it's always hardest to get the first piece out, right? Yeah. Quite so small that there. <laughs> Just kidding, we're not on Twitch. Oh, we're not? Nope, only watch me work. Okay. Which makes sense because it was hard to hear Psych Artist this morning. And it was like it kept dropping her on Twitch. But I could hear her fine on Watch Me Work, but on Twitch it was like dropping out and I was losing her sound. Ooh, I'm not quite so small now. Okay, now I have a pencil. So just watch me work. Okay, <laughs> I don't, really don't know what animal I'm gonna do. Uh, can you draw a bee, a <coughs> bumblebee? It would obviously be huge compared to everything else, but bumblebees yeah. are kind of cute. Or a flower with a bumblebee on it. Or do you have anything like cat-like? I don't have anything cat-like yet. Because you've kind of got two dog-like because you've got a fox and a wolf, right? Yes. I don't know I have a cat color. Oh, okay. Um, oh, I, need, I need to do something with the purples because I bought purple. purples. <laughs> uh, well, then that has to be something maybe a fantasy animal? Or... A bird? A parrot? I'm gonna do a giant moth. Oh yeah, a moth would be good. Eh. Ooh, or a bear. I don't brown, but I could do a black bear. Maybe I could have him standing up. 
Yeah, actually a bear would be good, and if it's a dark colour, it um, would be more menacing. Unless you're wanting friendly. Well, I don't want to scare kids. Well, no, but sometimes in stories you need to have a little bit of darkness. Also, I have a dragon. Yes, dragons can be good and bad. All right, hold on, these guys. I need to move because I need this black. <clears throat> Feels like I'm losing my voice. Well, we were talking for a lot yesterday. We were laughing. And we were doing it for seven and a half hours. Yeah. All right, what the hell does a bear look like? This is, this is where I get hung up, is I'm like, oh, I want to do this animal, and then I'm like, I have no idea what that animal looks like. Like a blob? Like a mean blob? With claws? So I have to Google what a bear looks like. Do you have uh, paper scissors? <laughs> the, the giant... Am I going to be safe to drag home? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot of scissors. Some of them work better than others. Some of them are a little shitty. Okay. My workspace is usually not as organized as Elizabeth's. Mine is, is things just lying around everywhere. Under things, on things. It's probably why I'm like this. Let's yeah, be real. <laughs> it probably is. Okay, we've got scary bears and we've got friendly bears. Teddy bears. Let's pick a friendly bear. Where'd he go? Okay. Pig. You don't have a pig either. I do not have a pig. I don't have a lot of animals. Well, true. I was just thinking things that might show up in fairy tales. Bears and pigs do show up. Yeah. I would really just go with what my artistic ability allowed for. <laughs> Which meant not all of the animals. And you might want, at some point, other humanoid animals like the rabbits. Or I'll make the bear like that. Mm -hmm. All my clothing paper is upstairs. Oh, okay. I have so much paper. I only brought down the solid colors today, but I have, I have all of these colors and nonsense. Okay, draw on some ears. And then I don't really like the way these arms look. I'll cut them out the way they show them, but it's made it to be changed. Yeah, I found that with a lot of my animals when I was working on them. I would see a picture and be like, ah, yeah, I like that. And then I'd get halfway through it and I'd be like, just kidding. This is not how animals look. Especially not in fairy tales. And so I'd have to go and redo them. <coughs> Excuse me. These little ones are very disappointing. They get stuck all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. And these ones are also glued together. I need to clean those. So. Yeah. I mean, you'd cool. have to stick to the, the stick somewhere, but the rest of him would probably should have been longer though, right? Yeah, I think that's about the size of a snake, unless you're making like a boa constrictor. I don't know what I'm making. Boom. Bare body. It looks kind of like a turd. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm just gonna be, I'm just gonna say this is how they all start out. You just make a jelly bean body. Like, jelly bean, jelly bean. Wait for it, jelly bean. 
They're all jelly beans. I, I see that, and you make it sound so easy, but... Um... <laughs> well, I mean, what shape do most animals have? They kind of go bigger, littler, and then bigger. It's a jelly bean. Very true. <laughs> This is me teaching crafts. <laughs> it's a jelly bean. Come on, guys. Don't you see it? So instead of uh, when you're, if I use a sharp or whatever, you obviously don't want me doing it so it goes on here. Do you use scrap paper? Or? Yeah, I just grab a piece of paper. Whoa, look, there's a back of that. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not professional. I, I just throw things. I'm like, this looks fine. I think upstairs I do actually have like official scrap paper that I was using. I got pretty good at outlining when I was making all of those postcards of animals. Yeah. I also went through an entire season of RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> and then followed up by RuPaul's All Stars. <laughs> I'm officially caught up. And the people who won. So I watched season seven, season eight, and all stars. And season seven, I agree with the winner. Season eight, I don't agree with the winner. And all stars, I definitely don't agree with the winner. So. But I get way too involved in drag queen communities, given that I'm not actually personal friends with any drag queens at the moment. The one drag queen we were friends with moved to Corpus. Oh. I was like, well, that's disappointing for us. Now you're too far away to be friends. Why would you do that? The beach. I think that's where our family was. Yeah. So even less fun than moving to the beach. Her name was Bitch Tits. a good name. Right? <laughs> a little hefty, hefty drag queen. And bitch tits. That was the funniest thing. But Carlos's hair was dyed by someone named Bulimi Ann Rhapsody. I was like, can we be her friend? Also, can she dye my hair? Because <laughs> she did a really nice job on your hair. Can, can, can she do mine? Carlos's hair has lasted a remarkably long time. She has really good colors. Like, I think those colors on top of bleached hair just stick. Yeah. Just last. So, I think she picked just the best colors for him. <coughs> but I'm surprised that when Amber dyed my hair, she managed to get it as purple as she did, and given that I work outside. Like, it's I'm actively... It's lasting a long time. Yeah, I was like, I'm actively bleaching it every single day, and it's still purple. I, I, th I think I actually like this color about now. Yeah, she dyed it darker so that it would fade into this. Yeah, no, I, I, I yeah. So what happens when you get a master stylist to do your hair. I want her to move here so she can always do my hair. Yeah. And that I have an access to a child that I can take to go do child activities. Yeah. Because I'm still bummed that there are child activities here in Austin that I've been unable to do because I don't have a child, but it sounds pretty sweet. And I'm like, I would just do it by myself. Like the tree house at the botan or at the yeah the wildflower center. There's a tree house. It's only for kids. I'm like, but but I want to go in the tree house. I'm a kid at heart. Can I go in the tree house? Nope. You have to have a child. Hmm. Mm. It's unfortunate, but yeah. well, they promised me next time they'd bring her. And I was like, good. <laughs> I'll have a list of all of the kid yeah, activities I've ever this. wanted to do. You bring me the child. You two have a romantic getaway, and I'll have your kid for the week. Because there's <laughs> Just so bam, 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 many bam. fun things to do. Oh, I want to go to, like, the Imagination Center and, like, go play with science stuff. Because that sounds like a great time. Well, San Antonio now has a museum or some weird play on words so it's not actually a children's museum they've tried to make it so that the kids don't associate it with the word museum but anyway it's meant to be a lot of fun see i would just take melanie and would go around texas doing all of the kid things i've ever wanted to do in my adult life and she will have the best trip and she'll remember texas as being the coolest place yep 
but I also really need my hair touched up. My roots were just not having the color. Boom. What? You're laughing at my jelly bean. I, I actually have to say that when you were making some of the others, I was kind of laughing when you'd show us the shapes because without, like, he hasn't got a head, he kind of he looks, right but it's not accentuated as a head. No. It, it, some of the, the, the creatures did look very, you know, out of space, fantasy, horror movie things. Do you just right have to now, be in my brain? He, he is kind <laughs> of, well, yeah, maybe it's my brain is twisted and I'm seeing things, but he, when he had, like, the arms like that, he kind of looks like, you know, some kind of monster coming well, out see. of the... I'm get your ears. Okay, the ears I see a bear. It. No, 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 the ears change it completely. It was without the ears. It was... It was Blobby the Blob. <laughs> I mean, again, they all start as jelly beans, so... They're the very definition of blobs. So I think his paws, his front paws are too big. I think I need to cut them down. Because right now he looks like he's gonna kill someone. Maybe I reversed it. Maybe if I went like this. Oh, surprise! It looks so much better. You still like, he looks like a fucking blob. He doesn't look anything like what you imagined it. I think he actually looks really cool as, um, as a blob. <laughs> as a blob person <laughs> thing. But I know he's going to turn into to a bear because with the wolf, I was concerned about the wolf. The wolf I was concerned because I didn't put a face on it until the end. And so I was, I was concerned with Wolfie for a while, but seeing him, he's beautiful. Because you have to wait, wait until a certain point before things look like certain things. And in my case, things never actually end up looking like anything, so... I mean, I'm not one to... Just to hold out faith. I'm not one to criticise at all. Well, I mean, I might do it, but I shouldn't, because my work's awful. No, I don't think your work is awful. You're the one who taught me how to do this shit. Mm. Oh, did I lose my reference photo? I did. I'll never find it again. <laughs> it was fun looking at some of the ideas people had. Oh, I'm amazed at the amount of uh, talent and imagination and creativity that's out there. Hmm. I don't know that I really like my reference photo on here. It gave me a solid body, but... Inside of ears, um... Sorry, I'll make sure you cross in front of me. Ooh! I've got mail. So what happens when I concentrate. Is I should do things that I don't concentrate on because then I talk a lot more. Why did I buzz? Oh, it's telling me that I could go to San Francisco for $175. There were flights from Austin on sale two or three days ago and it was $66 round trip to Denver and Las Vegas. $66. So I was like, I, I, could, do, I could swing that. So when... Um, you work on a slightly different schedule and you have more days off in a row? Yeah, I would have had to take days off to get any of them. But $66, I was like, holy shit, it was through Allegiant Air. And I was like, that is super impressive. Yeah, because Denver would be nice, even at this time of year, it would be cool. 
right? I was like, I've never been to Denver. Denver was my, my top pick. But I was like, I enjoyed Las Vegas when I went, too. That wouldn't be as cool <laughs> unless you stayed indoors the whole time. But with Vegas, you can stay indoors that the whole is time. True. You can stay indoors the whole time. There's day. so many shows to see. I mean... But those cost money. Yeah. But when we went, we saw Cirque du Soleil for like... 30 bucks a person or something. Wow. That's because not bad. we got the last two seats for the show. You go to like the last call ticket center. Oh. And yeah. so they're just trying to fill seats and they'll drop the price remarkably. And so, so when we went, we were just like, Whatever well, this is. is what we want to see. What do you have any showings? And they were like, yeah, we have one tonight in about two hours. And you'll be sat like upper balcony or something. And we were like, all right. I mean, it beats the $120 you were selling the tickets for in the first place. No kidding. That's what we always used to do in London, was go to the last minute box office place. Yeah. I mean, Although when, when I was growing up, that was not there all the time. You actually had to go to each box office. Oh man, no. It was... Vegas, they have like two stops and you just go and you stand in line. And it's a really long line because everyone does it. Oh yeah, that's true of London now, but... I remember, sometimes I'm talking about a long time ago. Yeah. But yeah, it was really... I mean, that was super cheap. And land it was a, far, far away. It was a great Cirque du Soleil show, too. I think it was cheaper seeing it there than it was seeing it when it came to Austin. Because I wanted to it? go to the one in Austin, but... I was like, oh, I'm sorry, I don't have $250 to drop on a ticket. No, tickets for things are very expensive nowadays. I guess it's because of all the special effects and the sets and all the stuff that they bring. It's no longer just like two people on stage doing something. It's, it's uh, productions. I went and I saw two people on stage not well, too we, long ago, and it was still like $90. Yeah. I was going to say, well, we've seen, gone and seen like Eddie Izzard, and it's one person on stage, but, you know. True, and that was, what, 500 <laughs> It was a lot of money. That's why. Wow. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, paper. Where'd you put the uh, the clear stuff that I got you? I think it's still in that glue thing, or it's upstairs on top of the other papers. Thank you, Carlos. More paper. Clothes paper. Yes, and clothes paper. Interesting paper. Carlos actually got me proper glue, which was nice. Oh, cool. But I don't know where it is. I looked for it yesterday, but only half passed. So, cool. Can you also grab me my white pens off of my desk, please, down here? White pens. White pens. White pens. White. White pens? White. White. Oops. White pens. Yeah, he got me this stuff this for paper. Oh, really nice. And it has a really fine point, so I'm not getting glue everywhere. Which I still did manage to get glue everywhere, because that's me. But it was a lot easier to identify where things were going. Options? Perfect. Those are the ones I wanted. Oh, that's right, you have to do yours on both sides because it's hanging. Well, I don't know if I do or not, but I was going to. <coughs> I don't really know how it would look, so I thought better to do it ahead of time than go oops afterwards. Damn it, I keep losing my reference photo. Okay. pages of this paper and I don't like it so it is now my scrap paper yeah after this I have a conference call on the way to the movies well you guys have to help me load the truck because I can't lift the yeah I will call this pretty early um 
because also it's going to be tricky getting the carpet cleaning machine in. Well, you don't have to take it home if you don't want to. I can always do our house again. Yeah, I need to do a batch of salt there. And so I assumed you wanted it back. I mean, yeah. We were just going to deal. There. Does he look like a burr? Yes, you see, it, it's features that make all the difference. I guess in, in, in one sense, we're all blobs. We're jelly beans. If you take away our, our uh, features, we're all blobs. Features that make us different. Kirby, are you a blob? Give us character. Give us character, huh? Yeah, Kirby slept with me last night. I'm surprised she wasn't in total pain. She didn't sleep on me, she slept next to me. I mean, she kind of spooned me, but, you know, she was next to me. So how Kirby's, Kirby's been sleeping in between Carlos and I. Like, she'll climb up and be as obnoxious as possible right in between us. Mm, that's because there's two of you, I guess. That's why she doesn't pick one side or the other. Well, she's not picking favorites. She's like, I want to equally bother both of you. Mm -hmm. But I saw when you sat down earlier, she was trying to... <laughs> Sorry, I just looked over the dog's like, belly rubs, I just want them. But when she sat down earlier, she put her head on you. She was like, love me. I am sad dog. Which is a lie she tells everyone. Yes. We took her to Barton Springs, the lower half of Barton Springs. It's basically just a creek, but it has some pretty deep water. But we took her later in the day, so we couldn't go to the normal spot she's familiar with. We had to park further away, and we went to a lower spot, and we found a little enclave that wasn't occupied by people. And there were kids next to us, and Kirby kept trying to go rescue them or drown them. I couldn't decide which one Kirby was going for. But the kids were like, you know, they were young, so they were splash swimming, they were kicking, and they were making a lot oh, of yeah. splashes, but they, they were just swimming. They weren't doing anything ridiculous. <clears throat> and Kirby just kept going for them. Like, she would try and fake out Carlos to go after the kids. I was like, I don't know what you're trying to do. And then there was another dog, and he got to swim all by himself. Like, he didn't have to have someone with him. And he was swimming and swimming and swimming, and he was scared of Kirby. So I wasn't I wasn't too worried because he was about her size and he just was like tail between his legs and scared of her. Are you so scary? You are yep. you. She terrified that poor dog. You were scary, scary dog. But she kept whining at him. Like she would look at him and be like, Boo and I'm like, Why are you whining? And I think it's because he got to swim without people constantly supervision. <laughs> yeah, constantly watching him and she doesn't get such a luxury. We follow her around because we're scared that she's going to do something stupid. Which I think is fair. I think she would do something stupid. She'd just swim until she couldn't swim anymore. Yeah, better to be safe than sorry. But she liked the part of the springs we were at because she got to... She could just stand in the water. And it was like up to her tummy. Nice. You are the laziest dog. You were chewing on your toy sideways. You can't even be bothered to sit upright. But my snake doesn't have to be the same pattern front and back because oft often the underbellies aren't patterned, right? Because the patterns are only to sure. warn people or something. Well, I guess not people, predators, of which we are, but... I wonder if snakes have a fear of people in the way we have a fear of snakes. I mean... Probably. <laughs> or are there nightmares of hawks and eagles and things? I don't know. Why 
Mom, Mom, I saw a human in the yard. It's hiding in the tall grass. <laughs> okay, this does not work. <coughs> My little burr. Well, we leave for Korea in about four weeks now. It's terrifying. And we need to actually work out what we're doing. We've been before, so we've seen some of the things. We're trying to decide which things we enjoyed so much we want to see again and what new things we want to see and I think in some ways planning a second trip can be harder than planning your first trip at least we have recorded everything we did yes you're welcome yeah Elizabeth has a, a spreadsheet of, of what we did when we did it type thing so that helps Helps me particularly with memories because we saw probably what four palaces. Oh, I think we saw more than that. I think we saw like seven. I mean, they were all impressive, but some of the outbuildings, and I shouldn't call them outbuildings because they were outbuildings in the sense that they were not attached to the main, main building, but they still, each one was impressive in its own right. But some of those attached build, uh, you know, semi-attached buildings were similar. Yeah. And we did see the changing of the guard, as it were. Um, the bar. Now it's very much a bear even without legs or arms, it's very much a bear. It is the features that make things. Hello, my name is Mr. Bear. Oh, my allergies are going nuts today. <clears throat> but this time we're going to go to a port city. So it, it actually, well it also has a beach, I guess a seaside city. And we're also going to an island, which is considered the Hawaii of that part of the world, because it's a volcanic, not an active volcanic like Hawaii, but it's a volcanic island, so it has some of the similar features. So we'll be doing some... Your second island of the year. Yes. And you'll go to your third island of the year in November. Mm -hmm. So this is the year of islands for you. If, if you were trying to get a theme for the travels. <laughs> Did you go to South Padre Island this year? No, not yet. I haven't been to the beach. Well, maybe. Because they keep saying that there's fucking poisonous skin-eating bacteria in the water. That is true. If that goes away, though, in the cool weather, you could always go late fall, early winter, and you would have done four islands in the year. Because there aren't really any other islands close by. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to go to the beach this year. I wanted to go tubing too. But because of all the flooding we had, yeah, that's messed they up. keep war warning us that there's bacteria in the water. And it's like, well, I'm not going to go lay in it for eight hours <laughs> if there's bacteria in it. Well, yeah. I don't have that level of commitment. <laughs> yeah. Well, and fertilizer and stuff that got washed out in the floods. Yeah, it's just not safe to go in the water yet. It really sucks. Yeah, I got all of his little hairs now. Laughing at him, bear. Not laughing at him. I think he's cute. 
I was actually laughing at the, the comparison between what yours looks like and what mine looks like. Yours looks like an artist did it, mine looks like a six, well, maybe an eight-year-old, but not much older than that did it. Somewhere between six and eight-year-old. I mean... You didn't look at a picture, though. I looked at a picture. Which I feel often gives an unfair advantage. Yeah, some of us even can get a picture, I don't think it does anything. You didn't do a dinosaur. I guess the dragon was in place of a dinosaur? Yeah, the dragon was in place of a dinosaur. I wanted to do a triceratops, but then I was like, man, I'll spend all my fucking time doing dinosaurs. Yeah. And it doesn't really fit the theme of the fairy theater. So, it's like, I'll make the fairy theater, and I'll make all the fairy tale puppets, and then I have to take a day when the weather doesn't suck something awful and sit outside and wait for the kids to come play in it, because I'm not going to leave this outside. This is way too many hours of work. Yeah. I really wish... My work would host a little free library, though. But I know it's just too much effort. Well, do they ever host, um, you like, mini... No. Nothing. Okay. We didn't do anything. Okay. It's way too hot, the plants are way too time-consuming, and there's too few co people in the whole company. Like, the whole company, including owner and people who grow the plants, is seven. Yeah. Like... And two of us are part-time. So. It's just way too few people. Well, plants and things are time-consuming. Yeah, if there's more people, I bet we'd do, like, events and things like that. But as it is, it's like, alright. Who's gonna make 32 wedding arrangements? It's okay, we'll have to call someone in to do them. Mm. Because you saw how busy it was. I was, uh, yeah, surprised at how busy it was. Apparently that's not busy. Allie keeps warning me because the weather gets nicer in the fall. Oh, in the fall, yeah. And so everyone comes out. So she's like, it'll be like that every single day. You won't have down days. Plus you'll be fighting the, um, the pecan trees because all the pecan trees drop their leaves. Oh, yeah. Straight into our plant pots. Yeah. And pecans give off a hormone that stops other plants from growing. Yeah. So we have to sit out there and sweep up all of the leaves every single day. Yeah, it's like um, black walnuts are like that too. They uh, have a, something that kills the roots, uh, uh, or basically, I guess, stops things from uh, growing. Yeah, like you said. I didn't know pecans were like that. I knew about walnuts, black walnuts. Yeah. So she's been trying to prepare me. She's like, it's it's only going to get busier. It's only going to get more ridiculous. Well, and they maybe need to uh, hire another worker. I think we hire part-time people just to sweep. Oh. Okay. I don't know what that number is. So what movie are you going to go see? Swiss Army Man. Oh yeah, because it's going to disappear soon, isn't it, from mm -hmm. the theaters? And so. Carlos has wanted to see it for a while. And every time he wants to see it, I'm always like, ooh, sorry, I've got plans. On such a day, he was, I was, he was like, we're going to see it. And I was like, ooh, I've got plans, though. And I do, actually. But I'm going to... going to squeeze it in. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to let you look up and make a... Sn oh, wow. Yes, yeah, see, totally bare. Can't be anything else but bare. Oh, went from blob to bear in zero to... 45 minutes. <laughs> I, was gonna, I was trying to work it out. I was 45 say minutes. 30. I was going to say maybe 30 because you didn't start him immediately. Yeah. But, okay, well then, well then embarrass me by saying, and my, my little snake, who I don't know, he hasn't got a face yet, and I don't know how he's going to attach to a stick. We'll glue his head yeah, to the top of the stick like this. So, so it hangs down around. Um, should I be... Um, well, no, because it, it could be a branch, so I don't have to colour the stick a different colour. Mm -mm. Mm, okay. I mean, I left all the sticks plain. It's a puppet. I yeah. Mean. yeah. So, like I said, I don't know what a snake's face looks like. So, 
Oh, right, how am I looking for it? Oh. Still may not be able to recreate it. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I need to somehow try and make him a tongue, don't I? Tiny sliver of uh, red or something. Yes, we have all the colours for yeah. you. Actually, there's even just the tiny edge of a piece of pink. It's going to be tiny. Nobody's going to be seeing the tongue. But I just think... This is like that before. I like them. Are they for cutting straight on top of the table or something? I used them for fabric the other day. This was just like the cheapest scissor pack I could find at HEB. Not HEB, um, Hobby Lobby or Michael's, something like that. Because I knew I needed scissors, but I wasn't about to spend $10 per pair of scissors since I ruined them so frequently. Yeah, when you're using paper, they'd never last very long. So it was. It was like five different types of scissors, but I don't know. I end up holding it like in my hand. So yeah, like, I just I just wondered. I've never quite seen. And you can like change the pressure between the blades, which is nice. Why are people calling me? I don't know any of these numbers. I don't know you. I don't answer. <laughs> Could I possibly have the, um, I'll reach across to the glue. It is nice acid-free paper glue. Because I wanted something that would stick better than glue sticks. Because in the heat, everything a glue stick sticks together falls apart. So I have to admit that I, I didn't um, even see any trailers for Swiss Army Man. It was really not advertised heavily. I saw it on YouTube. Like I saw the trailers on so YouTube. So from the title, it is just a superhero who. Mm mm. No. What is super? What is it then? Uh. Guy is stranded. Finds a dead body. The dead body is. Uh, like a Swiss Army knife. Oh. That sounds uh, different. Yeah, it's supposed to be really, really odd, but I'm very intrigued. Well, sometimes you could see different. So many well, movies are the same movie, the same story, exactly. the same actors. I mean, you know, you, you certain actors are in so many um, movies that sometimes, you know, I have to remember their actors and not the characters that they're in, that they're playing. Or rather yeah. the other way around, that they're the character, not the actor who's playing it. Yeah. And sometimes the movies are kind of similar in that they're the same hero. Well, this is supposed to be completely unlike anything else. Well, I and hope fairly it's, good, so. I hope it's enjoyable. Yeah. It's got good actors in it. Good. It's got Daniel Radcliffe. Oh. He is the Swiss Army man. He's a corpse. Hmm. Well, he's um, a good actor. He also can look remarkably odd. Did you ever see Horns? No. It was really good. I thought I'd be bothered by it. I mean, you know how weird I am with things. No, it was strange. It was definitely a strange movie, but it was good. It wasn't horror or anything like that. 
It was more action sci-fi, I think. So, does my snake have eyes or eyebrows? Oh, God. I don't know. Hold on. I think he has eyebrows. I think he does have eyebrows. I think you should just roll with the eyebrows oh, and yeah, put eyes just, underneath it. Right, yeah, so you're just gonna, I'm just going to make black dots under these. Okay. Well, that looks like a smile. Damn, I was meant to be doing the two nose slits. <laughs> it looks just like a happy old man. So he's not a threatening snake. That's that's lovely work, sweetie. Lovely, lovely. Well, the way his arms connect is gonna be weird, so I'm gonna have to put a vest or something over it to hide how weird it is. Because I can't. I don't really want to put them in the back because you lose how fat they are. But if I put them in the front, you see like it covers it up. It just has to be in the back, and then I'm going to put a vest over Show it. me the front again. Yeah. yeah. Do you have um, any sodas left? Probably. Okay, I'm going to get myself half a glass or something. Do you want something? I want a coffee, but I have to have Carlos make that. Yeah, I, I can't make coffee. And at my age, I'm not going to start learning how to make coffee because I don't drink coffee. Well, you really just plug a capsule into the Keurig, but... Yeah. I'll let Carl coffee. No, I just messed that up. Flip them over. And hide that screw up. Grumbles. Yeah, you are the grumbliest of grumbles. Well, I've tried some of Elizabeth's sparkling water. Sparkling raspberry? Yes. And I can't taste anything raspberry. It's it faint. Taste buds is shot. <laughs> it's faint. I just like burnt my uh, taste buds off this morning. Probably. Oh, okay. You can make a bumblebee. Um, I was actually actually thinking of that in my brain, but it, well, you know, nothing's. Figure out how claws are gonna look. Ooh. Oh, you might end up with eyebrows. <laughs> I glued the claws on the sucker and all of these spines, and I was done with it. It was awful. Uh, Never I will... again. He he's not on a stick or anything, and he really is quite sad. But um, no, you can't. Yeah. No matter what I do, I don't think you'll see his weird little eyebrows and tongue. But uh, there is my. Snake, let's hope that uh, it doesn't traumatize, traumatize any kids after your beautiful ones. Like Carl's is a pig mask? No, it never went out <laughs> in the closet. My lion scared some kids though. <laughs> There's definite apprehension when they were looking at the lion. They were like, I don't know about this. I do want to make foam masks again because I had a lot of fun creating those. That did look like fun, the foam masks. We still have all the foam. Well, yeah, uh, I think there's certain things you should do in rotation. And chain mail, I think, was cool. The foam masks was cool. I mean, a lot of the things are cool, but. Um, we 
a shame that they haven't got one complete one of these flowers. Mm. Yep. Because so I you was... could cut this out of all the other colors I have. Yes, but I was trying to cheat. No cheating. Only winning. So. So. This was paper I was looking at, and it has these lovely flowers, and I was thinking of cutting out a flower and then trying to make the bumblebee that went with the flower. However, the larger flowers are cut off on every side of the paper, and there isn't one whole one anywhere on the page. like little white dots around his eyes Ooh, and I that am... one's fuzzy yeah these are papers I've collected over the years these aren't the only new ones are the one like the colorful packets because mm -hmm. I was using them to make things for the little free library and they were cheaper to buy like huge packets of color than individual and then, pieces yeah and then just draw the designs on than buying the designed pattern papers But I am trying to make these into patterns. I have the fox and I have the rabbits drawn out. And I just need to work out how to make a digital copy of them. And I can put it on Etsy. Because so I was just doing it black and white and then you draw the face on, you draw the designs on, like all this fur, if you wanted it, you'd have to draw it. Very DIY, but here's the pattern. <laughs> and if the bear works, I think the bear would be a nice one to have. Wow, that is just like... Mm -hmm. I think I used it for one of their shirts because I had two pieces of that paper. Well, I was semi thinking of trying to do mm -hmm. something along those lines, but then the other side of me is like, just cut that out, but then you can't because it's not creative. So I'm just looking, just looking. Well, yeah, I need to make a little big top for a freak show. And I need to draw a well, tree and a... You do that. The... <laughs> <laughs> he looks silly. Bing. Yeah, but... hey Jake. <laughs> Paper puppets. I'm just... Laughing because my bears are my bear is looking very silly. He's not looking as distinguished as I feel a bear should look. I think he's looking very bear like. I think he's looking very lumbering. <laughs> he's like <laughs> We've got I'm going this side of the camera. No, they're close up down here. Oh the close up. But I was going to hold up a few, so. Because when they're in the pile, it's hard to see each one. So we've got a bunny in it. Fox? Do, 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 do. I don't know. He's got slumped shoulders. Oh. <laughs> Shit. Fox, 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 fox. Woo! Yeah, they are kind of in a pile right now. Let's move the pile out of the way. And... A bunny? Yep, that's Mr. Bunny. And then we've got Mrs. The fox is trying to chase the bunny. Ah. Got Mrs. Bunny. Far more creepy than her male counterpart. Hi. Well, thank you for stopping by and checking on us. I'm trying to choose a color for a bee. Yeah, we're, we're working on some stuff. There's those guys. Oh. Yeah, E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. I think it's funny because Chris calls me Ellie and it's actually just L. 
but I'm not terribly picky. There. All of my puppet faces. Oh. My pile of puppets. Oh, my dragon. My dragon's just too big. He doesn't fit anywhere. There, eating everyone. All right, bye Jake. Sorry, I'm like leaning around to see chat. But bye Jake, thank bye. you for stopping in. Oh, he's got a hunch now, look at him. It's like bending forward. Oh, then he's <laughs> definitely coming towards you. I don't know if I want to give him a bow tie or a vest. A very small vest might look cute in a bright color. Make him not look threatening. If well, I thought his face was rather sweet. I don't think he's threatening. Gave him little white rings around his eyes. I'm just throwing out there that a bright... Oh, look, he could be a 1960s mm -hmm. psychedelic one. I need to give him little round glasses. Yeah. I say 30 more minutes and let me call it. Okay. Yeah, I have to pack up and drive home. See how the dog's doing. Mine is just, look at her legs even hanging off the couch. Yeah, she just likes being near everybody. Hey. <laughs> Tommy oh, rubs. Yeah. Like she wakes up, she's just like, yeah, yes. That's what I wanted. It is what I wanted. I went back to sleep. If um, I'm trying to get a ride for Sunday next mm -hmm. week, if I can't get a ride from San Antonio, I might look to see if I can get a ride from Austin. Okay. In which case, I'd probably have to park the truck here. Okay. That's fine. Because one of the issues with somebody in, in San Antonio is they wanted me to go, and I said, Well, is there safe parking? And they went, No. And I was like, Well, then that kind of brings an end to that story, doesn't it? You know, I'm not getting a taxi to your place and then, so. Putting hair on this seemed like a really good idea at the time. This is taking longer than anything else. Yeah, but it makes it so, look so much nice. I mean, it makes it. And not that you can necessarily see it from a disc, but it changes it. It does change it. Sticks. We'll do that later. It's really hard to trace my own pattern when it's all glued together, let alone on a stick. <laughs> oh, true. Very true. I didn't think about that until I was trying to make the fox pattern, and I was just like, oh my god. Good enough. Small tweaks may be necessary. My patterns for these guys though are written how I would do it. And so I'm like, just attach these two pieces together. And so it's not terribly explanatory. 
Like there's no dots telling you like connect this specific part to this specific part. You just have to like know that front legs go on the front and back legs go on the back. Cause they're called front legs and back legs, but I feel like that might not be simple enough. Well, given that I explain every single day to people that plants need light and water. And that that's just how plants function. And just the confusion I get when I say that. Yeah, but there's a lot of um, people who don't have specific knowledge uh, or common sense. So I feel like plants need light and water isn't specific. That's seventh grade. We all had to take six weeks on photosynthesis. Well, the other day, um, I was talking about salt, and I said it was necessary for all life. And somebody said, no, it's not. And I said, well, actually, even plants need salt. Yeah. Go check it out. All life needs salt. The big question is how much salt is good for you or bad for you. It's not whether you need it or not. Well, because I thought that, that the salt thing was taught in schools, but... No. I did not know that. Mm. Photosynthesis, however, is a legitimate six-week, like, whole six weeks that you have to spend just learning about plants and photosynthesis in seventh grade. Mm. And then okay. it's reiterated again in biology okay. in ninth grade. So, it is like, it is a full thing. You have to get tested on it cannot pass seventh grade without knowing it. I think that's what horrifies me the most, is like I know it's part of the curriculum. So we study the food chain too. Yeah, there's a lot of things. But anyway, yes, you even have salt in your blood. Interesting. Dear God, I am so done putting hairs on these legs. <laughs> so you gotta choose a smooth animal next? Yes. Well, like the fox, I didn't give the fox hair. A seal doesn't have hair, does it? No, but I also well, thought it, it does just look like a turd. <laughs> um, it does have hair because it's a mammal, going back to biology, but zoology, but it doesn't have hair, 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 like fur hair. Like, well, I guess it does, fur seals. I guess seals do. All seals have have fuzzy hair, yeah. Except They're just slick. wet most of the time. Yeah, it's slick when it's wet. Okay. Like if this bear was wet, you wouldn't be able to see his hair. I'm showing my ignorance there. Seals don't have hair. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah, they, they do. do. At least I corrected myself. Like penguins have feathers, but you don't really see them individually. That's true. I corrected myself. I did. I did. Okay, Mr. Burr. He's a little bow-legged. But that's okay. Now, what color vest do you want? These don't look like all of my colors. Do a blood splattered. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, at least one of your woodland characters needs to be, unless you make the huntsman. <laughs> he is a fairy tale figure. Survival equipment, from the sounds of it. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. Okay. Start 
going with this? Well, I was going for a bee, but it looks like a butterfly. It does look like a butterfly. <laughs> Nothing wrong with a butterfly. So it's not. I was wanting it to be stinging like a bee, but it looks like a butterfly. So just like this, adding something on after the fact is harder. Yeah. Because I don't know what he looks like underneath. Okay. Nope, I gotta look up what a Baron of S looks like. I would have maybe made it more of the, the you know, cutaway so it wasn't closed. But well, no, it's, it's gonna be a vest. Vests are not closed. <laughs> <laughs> they, they are open. It's just, I, I have to make it a whole shirt so I know how big his body is. Otherwise, I don't know how big his body is. Mm. Easier to work with one piece than two. Yes. a bear in a robe. Bears and lumberjack shirts. Oh, I didn't do a deer. Oh yeah, Bambi. Okay, nope, it looks like I did this wrong. Okay, that's a little too macabre. It's a little, a little too dark. I think you should take a photo of it, <laughs> but not use it. Yeah, I think I have to go a brighter direction. Something more child friendly. One of my scraps made it down here, apparently. I don't like having to cut new pieces. I, I, I think there were a few, just the, there was at least one, I guess. That's what I used. Yeah, that's what you used. So it wasn't. It's one of my scraps of uh, colored paper like this. Yeah, I can see that because sometimes all you need is a tiny bit. I was just trying to cut the edges though. <laughs> Does he just want a yellow vest? <laughs> hmm. That's, that's too 
seen menacing. You could have a yellow one. Yeah. Have black? No, I have no black. We have no black. We have dark gray. Okay. Which is right here. Okay. Thank you. Oh, that's nice stuff. It is the color of the bear. Oh, I should have dipped it. Duh. Hmm. I think that looks kind of silly. Yeah, I prefer without it. Keep your vest there for another animal. Might, might fit. Does he look more friendly now? It's like he he's is. gonna murder your family. Yeah. Or I guess I could give him a bandana. Yeah, a bandana or a bow tie. Or have him can carry a basket of flowers or something. Maybe otherwise, you can make him look less intimidating. Yeah. I'm not going to use mine, but that's fine. I kept your company. Yeah. You gotta have some variety for the kids. Well, yeah. well these you wouldn't care if the kids told us to <laughs> took them. Bees have six legs, right? Mm hmm Where do you think it was bandana? At slight angle maybe, because the bandanas kind of hang down a little.
Yeah, someone named Little Rooster Nest started following me on Instagram. Oh, cool. Did I tell you Sprout Girl did? Yes. Just a couple of days ago, though. I sent her the game. Oh, she did. And I said it? it was from you. Oh, oh cool. So it was handmade. And then she tagged you in a post. Oh, did she? Mm-hmm. Oh. And she said, thank you. Oh, that was nice of her. Yeah, I sent her a thank you for all the donations, and then I sent the game, and then I wrote out some really rudimentary rules and then told her she had to go look up the rest of the rules, but said that you had made the game. Nice. Because I haven't seen her on the screen lately, but that's probably because we haven't been doing her what she follows. Yeah, although she only likes games, so... So yeah, no, I mean, I understand that, but... There, that's more of a bandana. Yes. You can see it's folded fabric now. Aka Adventure? I thought we weren't streaming on Twitch. I thought we weren't live. I'm very confused now. Oh, I am live on Twitch. Oh, hi Twitch people. I know, whoops. We weren't sure we were. But I'm guessing nobody was talking to us? Yeah. So what is it, what is it saying to us? Oh, it's on the screen. Cool. I need help, guys. Oh. Okay, Adventure, what's up? Yeah. I, we didn't even know we were on Twitch. Twitch wasn't really working out for us this morning, so we thought we were just on watching work. Oops. Yeah, so what do you need help with? She's cute. <clears throat> that was our bad. Twitch is being weird this morning. <laughs> Carlos is like, oh! <laughs> hey! Guess Twitch is working! Oh, okay then. Yeah, well, I mean, it wasn't working. Cute. Which is funny, because we were going to sign off in six minutes. Well. Turn him around, though, when you do that. He would see him. Ta-da! This is Mr. Bear. Mr. Bear was created today. You can see the quality of Mr. Bear. Ish. <laughs> and then you can see the um, not so um, artistic snake thing that I did because this is not my field, not my forte. And then instead of getting better, <laughs> I went downhill and I was trying to do a bumblebee. So sad, sad, sad. Maybe he can be in the background. Just floating around. There's a person who's spamming my account calling me their dad and then they took it a step further by putting my friend's name and they put as the name that they should kill themselves? What the fuck? On where? Yeah, on which account? Are you talking like Facebook? Oh. Because I think there's a way for you to like report people and Facebook takes it pretty seriously. But that is fucked up. That is so messed up. I would see if whoever the admin is can close your account or close their account. Someone's account needs to be closed. Facebook does have, I think, you know, where you click on the side and it says edit. I think one of them there oh, says... Oh, in Twitch? No, in Twitch. Weird. Weird. I, I have no idea how to handle that in Twitch. Except go to the admin. There's got to be a contact information somewhere, right? Not really. Twitch doesn't really give a shit. Oh. Um, close your account. Make a new one? Yeah. I don't know. 
I don't know. I would see if there's an FAQ on that. Yeah. Yeah, I would see if there's a frequently asked questions. I've not come across that yet. So I don't know how to handle that. Well, sorry it's happening to you, but yeah. I'm not sure whether people can ask for help. <laughs> I'm very not literate with Twitch. So I would, yeah, I would report them and block them, like Wolf Giant suggesting, and then see if you can reach out to someone. Cause that's, that's weird. Well, that sounds like an actual hacker, right? Then? No. Hackers don't exist. All right. But somebody messing with his account. Yeah. I, I mean, I have no idea what to do about it. I would really suggest reaching out to... Yeah. Because I have no idea. That's all well beyond me and my understanding of how things work. Put away the ones that I have made patterns for. So that one I made a pattern for. This one I made a pattern for. This one I made a pattern for. So if, but if there's threats, can't you also go to the police involved if there's threats involved? Yeah, you can do. You can report people for cyberbullying, but you have to know a lot of information about them. But which at is least, why it doesn't work. No, but at least if you reported it and anything happened later, you could show that it you, wasn't you. You can't report it without information. So oh. if you don't know who they are, like. Oh. Like, this username is being rude. Well, no, it was more than being rude. But I think... I'm sorry, Aka Adventure, that's happening to you. I really wish you luck, because that really sucks. However, we were going to sign off at 11.30 because we have things we need to get done today. We started at 10. So we're going to sign out in a couple of minutes. I hope everything works out. I would, I would definitely see if there's someone you can reach out to on Twitch, because... I know nothing about Twitch. Yeah, I have to drive back to San Antonio. Yeah. Well, I have a conference call and work that needs to get done. And so, All that nonsense. All that, all that stuff. Oh, I'm hiding behind my puppets. Can I have to yawn? So, do oh. you contact me on things? And yeah. So, we're always on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that nonsense. I didn't do any of that for today because I was eating breakfast, but Occupenture, good luck. And everyone else, bye. Bye.